Hey guys, my name is Charlie, and as you can probably tell, English is not my first language. In fact, English is my third language, followed by Chinese and Taiwanese, or you might want to call it Hokkien, depends on how you want to call it. And my English learning curve is actually not very stable throughout my life. And actually, I can confidently tell you that most of my English skill is developed after the age of 16, especially speaking skills. I want to share my journey right here, and maybe I can help some of my viewers out there that are trying to improve English on their own. First of all, how I learned English before the age of 16? Well, it's actually pretty simple. I just follow the school system, and I can tell you, the school system is worse than you think. And I'm from Taiwan, so a Asian country, and most of the time our education focuses on the answer so we can pass the exam. So they don't really care about things outside of the answer or the reason behind the topic. So you just have to memorize the answer, the equations, maybe some maybe it's some specific event. And that's pretty much it. Just memorize these things and shut the fuck up. This might help while you are building your vocabularies, but once you started to learn more versatile things like daily conversations. This ain't gonna work. And if they answer you with, I'm fine, thank you, and you, I can confidently say that they are 99% Taiwanese. So school doesn't help much here, but I still build some basic grammars and vocabularies, and I think this should be your foundation too. Just build some basic grammars and basic vocabularies so you can understand the very basic English sentences and English rules. And I highly recommend you start it from the most used English words out there so you won't get freaked out when you see this at the beginning. And back to my English learning experience, I had a terrible teacher for the first three years of my English learning experience. She will hold a iron stick all the time, and if you cannot answer the question, she will slam that shit on your desk, and you will freak out. Like, we are just 10 years old back then, and bro, what do you want? So we stress out at every English class, and English is basically our least favorite subject at that moment. So my English was just Average at that point, I think I understand and know how to write the sentence I am a boy on the textbook, and that's pretty much it. And until 5th grade, I went to an English learning center. They're really focusing on speaking and listening, and that is the first time I feel like I get a significant progress on my English skills. You have to write the sentences, and then you have to read it. After you read it, you have to listen to it, and yes, you have to record the things you just said. I know it's embarrassing, but it really helps a lot, especially on your pronunciations and overall English speaking and conversation skills. And I guess it also helps me right now while I'm editing my own videos because I won't get embarrassed by my own voice. But six months later, my mom was being diagnosed with cancer, so I have to quit halfway there. And everything just went back to the school systems. But at that time, I actually transferred to a way better school. so. The teacher there was nicer, and they have a lot of patience, and overall it's just a better school. The way we learned English there was using Discovery Channel and some other videos to learn. After we go through the textbooks, we watch the videos that are related to the topic we just learned. So we learn very fast, very quick, and very happy. Shout out to my teacher, his name is David. And also I met some cool friends out there. I started to play GTA San Andreas, even though I have no idea what they are saying in the game. And it was at that time I started to watch Discovery Channel, National Geographic, and other English channels with subtitles on on a regular basis. And by the way, I think it was peak Discovery era when they had Bear Grylls, Mythbusters, and some other nice shows out there that are broadcasting. As you can see, I slowly consume English content on a daily basis. And this is very important on the long run. After I graduate from that school, things remain pretty much the same. I follow the school learning system and watch English channels for one or two hours a day while subtitle is on. In our school, they just force you to memorize the grammars and the vocabularies. I mean, it does help, but it doesn't help a lot on the long run. And I think we really lack of speaking and listening practice and slowly I can feel like my English is getting worse again. And at the end of the day, I think our education just create a lot of students that do excellent jobs on the paper, but when it comes to daily conversations or speakings, they just fucked up. Fast forward to my first year in my high school, I was around 16 years old, and randomly I came across a video made by MKBHD, and someone translated his famous video, The Truth Behind Beast by Dre, into Chinese, 
and I believe I was looking for a pair of headphones back then so I fall into their perfect target audience and that one click fucking changed everything like for real everything his production level his editing the way he talks his b-rolls the way he presents his videos and that is some god level thing back then when all i watched was some terrible edit gameplay videos with the dude shouting in front of his screen and it's basically tyler one but taiwanese version and instead of one tyler one we have a lot of tyler one and sometimes I'll watch those Minecraft YouTubers whose target audience is like a 9 year old. So Marquez, MKBHD, completely blows my mind. Like suddenly I realized that YouTube can be a place for other things outside of music videos and gameplay videos. And I remember I saw a comment saying that Marquez speak very clear and very easy to understand English. So I decided to give it a shot. Watch his other videos on his main channel. Just subtitles on without any translations. And I can tell you, with subtitles on, it's actually very easy to understand. The English we use while talking is so easy compared to the things we learn at school or on the exam. So I recommend you turn on the subtitles if you have a basic to mid-level understanding of English. And my way of learning while watching the video is, while I'm watching the videos, I turn the subtitles on, and whenever I see the word I don't understand, I pause the video and google the specific words and it's pretty fast and pretty efficient but sometimes if it's a slang you have to go to urban dictionary and actually i still remember the very first word i google it was recommend yes recommend such an easy word i still have no idea what that is back then and as you can see i came a long way i also installed a google translate extension on my phone and on my computer so whenever I highlight something I don't understand, I can get a translation on it. And also the speaking, and I do repeat the sentences sometimes in my head, especially those sentences that I think is harder to pronounce, and sometimes I will actually say it out loud, but I do recommend you having a dedicated practicing time for speaking if you want to maximize your English learning efficiency. And I remember that winter vacation, I spent pretty much all day playing League of Legends and watch YouTube videos. I spent like 10 hours a day probably. I literally finished the whole MKBHD channel while he has like 4 million subscribers I think. I remember after I subscribed, his first video is our tablets are dead. That was long long time ago. And later on, I started to watch his friends' videos like Austin Evans, John from TLD Today, and then some Casey Neistat. And god, I miss those videos from 2016 and 17. Anyway, later on, I decided to set my phone to full English mode and started to get info from English websites. I read pretty slow and I have to use Google Translation a lot, but when it comes to the quality of information, I think it's totally worth it. And actually, I realized that I've been limiting myself for way too long. Now I understand things in English, I can get much more info on the internet. So my new daily habits become watch English news and watch full English YouTube content and put myself into a nearly full English environment. It actually helps a lot on my English skills in a different way because we used to learn by textbooks. And textbooks are great but they are just great for the foundations but actually i think they are very terrible at the everyday life they probably won't tell you how to say what's up to your friend and the current meme trend and current slang and actually the best way to learn is watching videos so you will have an idea of how people actually talk in real life i think this applies to every language i believe so i would recommend you just find a topic that interests you and find a YouTuber or a bunch of YouTubers that you like and you resonate with, turn the subtitles on and enjoy. Or maybe you don't need subtitles. By the way, if you don't need subtitles, please don't waste time on this video. It just doesn't help. Please don't waste your time on this video. For, and for me, these people are MKBHD and KC Neistat. Like, they literally carry my whole high school life. I'm not even joking. And actually, it is that simple. This is how I turn myself from a guy that who only know how to do the English exam to the guy you're seeing right now. Trying to make a English YouTube content and sharing my thoughts on the internet. Overall, the keyword is consistency. Language is something that you have to keep using, otherwise you will get worse at it. Even though it's your first language, it will still happen. We see this all the time when a kid went to other countries to study. 
and then they came home with their broken Chinese speaking skills. So I recommend put English into part of your life. Maybe it's switch to English mode while you are gaming. Maybe it's listening to a podcast every day. Maybe it's watch English videos every day. It doesn't really matter as long as you put yourself into that environment. Along the way, you can take exam like TOEFL or TOEIC to see where you are right now. It's not a requirement. I personally did not take it, but I feel like for some people, they might need to go to get started to learn something, or maybe you can make contents just like me. Because we all focusing on our input and we forgot there's a output as well. But after all, learning English is like going to the gym. It's a marathon. It's a long term thing. So take your time, develop your habit and your own pace, and just. Get started. Nothing is stopping you from learning a new language, and that's pretty much it here. If you have any suggestions or any tips on language learning, please consider drop a comment down below. And if you want to see my other videos, I'll put a link right here. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.